All right, we get Tornado watches from time to time, but this is a PDS watch or a particularly dangerous situation for St. Louis down to Paducah into parts of Tennessee, not quite down to Jackson, although I still think we're in that risk. I'll show you in just a second. Jonesboro into Arkansas, and then the northern part of Arkansas is under that risk as well. Already seeing the storms going here into parts of Missouri. That will continue to push east. New watches will likely come out. Get those at weather.gov. So check it out. The new data from the Storm Prediction Center, I think, is helping to increase their potential threats that they're seeing here on the maps. Look at this. A hashed area. Now over to East Tennessee, this is the significant tornado risk, and it's a good chunk of all of Tennessee and Kentucky with the far, with the exception of the eastern parts of these states. And look, it's not a zero threat even here. We've got that one round of storm that moved through. We've got our second round firing here. That will continue to push south through the evening hours into early Monday morning as far south as Mississippi and Alabama. And look, I want to show you this too. The likelihood of hazards in these PDS areas, tornadoes high, EF2 high, severe wind high, Everything high. In fact, very large hell events up to three inches in diameter are likely. And even if you don't see the tornadoes, we could see gusts up to 75 with these strong thunderstorms. It's no wonder the entire convective outlook has now been upgraded to a four out of five here. It's a moderate risk across these areas. And that severe threat extends as far north as southern Michigan, albeit not as strong. Still a chance for some storms here, but the highest tornado threat clearly across Tennessee and back into Missouri and Arkansas. And, of course, Illinois, Kentucky, and Indiana. Further to the north and east, yes, we'll see some strong storms into Ohio, too. And tomorrow, that threat shifts off to the east. This is the newest Storm Prediction Center data for Monday. A decent risk of severe weather across the east coast, especially around the Delmarva. This area in the mid-Atlantic could see some strong storms. And the tornado risk went from this this morning to this this afternoon. Again, not a zero threat, not as high, but decent across parts of eastern PA, New Jersey, down into Maryland, Delaware, even as far south as North Carolina. There could even be a few tornadoes across the south and into Texas, too. And if you're wondering, by Tuesday, things much quieter across the country, a few storms across Texas, even really far to the north, up across Idaho and Montana, and there could even be some snow that follows this in those mountains. Here come the storms tonight, once we move to 7, 8 o'clock, really going across Missouri, southern Illinois, and also into Indiana. This would be 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We've got these storms still to deal with across the east, moving toward, toward Akron, close to Cleveland, down to Pittsburgh, and then into Virginia, close to Roanoke, Lynchburg, and another line of storms across western Virginia that continues to push east, eventually closer to Charlottesville. Once you get to the 9 p.m. Central time, look at these storms really firing up here across the Ohio River, and also back across parts of Arkansas and Missouri. Some of these could be discrete super cells sort of spread out and that would be a high tornado risk once we move past say 10 11 o'clock the threat starts to shift a little further to the east with this line of storms that really could be intense there could be some strong damaging winds with this even some tornadoes we may get hammered again in the same areas that saw storms today with a second round of storms this evening with more damaging winds and some tornadoes the components of this severe setup strong southerly flow out ahead of it at the surface, once you move up in the atmosphere, we've got more of a west to southwest component here, and that is really enhancing the wind shear. So as you throw the thunderstorms up, they don't just go up on their own, but once they go up, the low-level winds will be coming in out of the south, the upper-level winds coming in out of more of the west. Those storms will want to spin and rotate. That's why we have an enhanced tornado risk. So if you like this kind of content, I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks to everyone. Guys, the channel's been blowing up. I hope, really, it's... It's helpful. If you're new to the channel, I'm a former TV chief meteorologist that's been out of the business for almost five years, but I love forecasting. And if you like this stuff, again, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. Let's keep going. Uh, into early tomorrow morning, we've got these storms moving into Pennsylvania. Some of these could be on the strong side, some severe weather possible too. It doesn't look anything like what we're seeing across Tennessee. I mean, it's not the same setup, not even close, but as we head into tomorrow afternoon, I'm thinking some of these could get strong even as far north as parts of Ontario. Some of them could really pick up, especially as we see this low move through. There's going to be a lot of wind shear up in here. So some of these could get really strong up around Lake Ontario, up 
maybe even around Lake Erie on the Ontario side. And then as these move up into Canada, the shear is still going to be high into parts of northern New York, into eastern Pennsylvania, some strong storms possible. The tornado threat, high, at least relative to the other areas here across eastern Pennsylvania, down to D.C., into parts of eastern North Carolina, especially into the afternoon and evening hours. And then everything pushes east. These storms across the south could get strong, too, into South Carolina. Georgia, storms pushing now into the southern parts of these states. And, you know, some big rain here across the northeast possible, too, as we head into tomorrow night. And then showery conditions around the Great Lakes. These are not severe storms. That's just cool, damp, and kind of nasty and gross uh, for a couple of days here in and around the Great Lakes.